I'm thrilled to be joined by Panos Panay right now, fresh off stage, announcing Alexa Plus and a generative AI-infused Alexa. What new will this bring? What excites you the most here? Yeah, she's smarter. She's conversational. She's, she's, uh, she's personalized to you. It's, it's so exciting when you have a conversation with Alexa. It feels incredibly natural. But I think most exciting is she'll actually help you get some stuff done. I really want un to understand the underlying technology here, because in many ways, Amazon has continued to be agnostic to large language models. You want to offer them all. You have, of course, this relationship with Anthropic. How much has this technology been infused to making her more conversational, making her more useful? You know, you said it. We use uh, different foundational models for sure, and, and Alexa picks the right model for the job. We use Amazon Nova, which is exciting, uh, and just an incredible LLM. And then we use Anthropic's Cloud as well, which is been phenomenal for the product. And basically, depending on you know, what the customer is doing, Alexa chooses the right path and, and uh, delivers the results needed. What's interesting, though, is perhaps timelines were pushed out. We first heard about a new AI-infused Alexa back in 2023. You said on stage that really you've been limited by the technology. What are the key limitations, and how have you fixed it? I mean, you, you have to re-architect it from the bottom up. There's, the first thing you have to know is like when you have hundreds of millions of customers already using the product, you have to deliver back to them everything they already love about it. And so you have to start there, which is one of the challenges with LLMs. You know, it starts to change that experience. And it wasn't just re-architecting it to change the brain with an LLM. It's then also infusing all the APIs that connect to the product so you can call the partners that are needed to do the task at hand. And so when you try and bring those two things together, it's not been done before at this scale. We need to take our time, get it right for our customers, because the customers who already love Alexa have to love it more moving forward. So you get, it's all about customer focus to make that true. And it's important when you're thinking about security of your house, not just making reservations for restaurants, but potentially eventually making financial decisions for you as well. Uh, will we see a stress test of this? Are you expecting that there might be the odd hallucination as like humans always do, push these things to the very edge? I mean, this is why we took our time. We wanted to make sure we got it right. To your point, if you're going to lock the door, we're going to lock the door. And we got to make sure that's the case. And because AI you know, has been grounded in Alexa for 10 years, we know how to do it very well. And so we just took our time to make sure we're able to use the same level of security that we've always had with Alexa. People are already locking their doors today, but now it just got easier, Caroline. I mean, it really got incredibly simple for everybody to create a routine and to figure out how to manage their smart home. We just need to make sure we brought everything we've learned forward and then deliver it to customers. We're pretty pumped about it. And thinking about how you deliver it, it's about investing. And we heard from Andy Jassy before, of course, on stage as well, saying Amazon is investing more than any other company in AI. How crucial is that? $100 billion that have been thought, talked about in capital expenditure and a lot of that going towards artificial intelligence. Well, fundamentally, like making sure you have the best tech set up for the right speed and the lowest cost is what it's about. You know, we're, we want to deliver it Alexa to hundreds of millions more customers and that stability and that generational AI you know, change, uh, we have to be at the forefront of it. Hundreds of millions more. At the moment, there are 600 million devices out there. How do you think that this world, this ecosystem, this total addressable market expands for you, therefore? Because it's not just going to be about having an Echo. It's about using it in your car, transferring it onto your mobile app. Yeah, and wearing it uh, on your glasses or putting it in your earbuds. I mean, you nailed it for me. It is going to be just about that. It's going to be used on the web as Alexa.com. It's going to be used uh, as the Alexa app where you take it everywhere. You use it in your car. And then ultimately, we want your home to be as smart as it possibly can be. Uh, it's what our customers are asking for. You're also asking the old customer to pay if they're not already a Prime user, $19.99. You get it free if you're with Prime. So where's the profitability here for you? How do you drive ultimately adoption of the Amazon ecosystem, but also some profitability here? Yeah, I mean, it comes down to that. Like, if you're a Prime member, you get an incredible experience with it for free, which is awesome. If not, you can pay $19.99. And ultimately, you know, the business model works in between those two things. We think the more you use the product, the more you love it. The more you use it, the better it is, uh, not only for our customers, but for Amazon. And then just think about global expansion here. I'm so interested in how much this is generally being adopted in the U.S., how much you're thinking about the other countries in which you're present. Yeah, so we're starting with the U.S. We're rolling it out next month in early preview early access. 
we're pretty excited about that. The, we're going to go global shortly after that. We're in a ton of countries already, and we tend to expand it. The LLM, if you will, as a foundation, kind of enables even more expansion due to languages, because you can imagine, Caroline, how important languages are for this product. And to get it right, to get the intonation right, to get the personality right, like this is where the emotion comes out of the product, that personality, the intonation, how you feel using it, and then you get more engaged. So, uh, you know, global expansion is right around the corner. And that March date and that early test cases almost, is this just again to ensure that you iron out any creases? You, you definitely want to roll it out in a way where you can learn from your customers as quick as you can. It's also just, you know, when and how fast you can get it to customers. And at a large scale rollout with hundreds of millions of customers, you want to temper it to make sure as it's coming out that, you know, all devices are healthy and ready to work and uh, taking the product. So you just, you just want to temper it to make sure every customer is satisfied when they get it. Hanos Panay, it's been great speaking with you. Of course, head of Amazon Devices and Services. Thank you for joining us on the Alexa Plus. Truly enjoyed it. Thank you for your time. I'm excited.